Hi guys, Jason here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're talking about action cameras, a 4K action camera, which was actually the first ever camera to film in 4K at 60 frames a second. And it's this one here. It's a fantastic GoPro alternative. It's right at the top end in terms of performance. And I think potentially it might just be the best one around at the moment for you guys. I've also got this gimbal to go with it and I'll explain if you don't know what they are, how they work. I'll be putting it through its paces by going on a lovely little long walk and taking some footage with this bad boy and you'll see exactly what the footage is like to see whether it's something you might want to buy so let's go remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell if you're new and want to be notified every time I post a new video right so yeah welcome back to a brand new video and as you can see here we have three products by Yi. I've got a dash cam, I've got the 4K action camera there, and of course we've got the gimbal as well. But first I'm going to show you the camera, which is of course the Yi 4K Plus, which is kind of their premium camera at this moment in time. Then I'm going to jump onto the gimbal, again show you sort of all the different things you can do with it, and then I'm going to show you some footage from my trips out to see whether it might be for you. So, right, so this is the camera, as you can see you've just got the one lens on the front, a little light to show you it's on, you've got your on off button here, You've got your charging port here, which is Type-C. And the great thing about Type-C is, is you're going to get faster transfer speeds. It also means you can plug in a outside microphone, a better microphone than the one that obviously comes in the camera. So, as you can see here, we have an adapter that ships in the box. And you've got a Type-C there, which will plug into your camera. And then you've got the other port, which you can use to plug in a microphone. So while we've talked about an extra thing that comes in the box, we may as well finish off the actual unboxing and show you exactly what comes in it alongside that so we've obviously got the camera and that adapter you also get your charging cable and then you also get this waterproof casing which straight away is usually around 30 40 pounds i believe so that's good that it comes with it just means that you can take an action camera 4k 60 frames a second and shoot underwater as well and of course you've got your two accessories here which you can attach to this and then obviously put it on a selfie stick or something like that so they're the things that come in the box so we're going to jump back onto this camera so there is where you would obviously mount the camera and then you've got a little speaker at the top there. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to power it on. And as you can see, it's very, very fluid. Uh, the touchscreen works really, really well, actually. I had the Yi camera, the 1080p Yi camera, which was around, I want to say three years ago I got that. And the one major difference I've noticed is, as you would expect, the touchscreen, the processor inside is much better. It's much quicker. You've got a settings icon there and you've got, this is for the camera. So you've got resolution, maximum 12 megapixel. You can also use 8, 7 and 5. Diff loads of different settings in here like sharpness and shutter speed, etc. You can also go to this bottom bit here and you can choose between photo, timer, burst, video, time lapse, slow motion, loop video and photo and live so we just click on the video if we go to settings again the different resolutions we've got 4k in 60 frames a second we've also got it in 48 and 30 and 20 and then you've got a 4000 by 3008 at 30 frames a second 2.7k uh, we've got 1440p as well and then you've got like 1080 for example so full hd if we go back to the settings you've also got uh, wi-fi so you can actually connect this to your smartphone there is an app that's available on your smartphone android and ios and as you can see here once you have the app downloaded you can select the actual camera you have and obviously i've got this top one up the top here the top one up the top it's generally where yeah, uh, and I, I've actually connected it already. So it means that you've got your photos and videos that you would have taken would be in here. I've obviously deleted them off. You can also go live up the top here to some of your social medias. If you click on that icon there, you've got sort of like a community tab where people have kind of shared videos and photos that they've taken again using this camera. Now, of course, the best thing about this is you can actually shoot from your smartphone. So you can, of course, I'm on video mode here. You can also take photos. So if I position it where I want to take the photo, for example, take a picture of a pen a pen and a gimbal and then I'd simply press that and it would take the photo so that's a really really handy tool if you've got it set up somewhere that you don't actually have access to it you can obviously take it from your smartphone and you've got different settings on here again you can change your shutter speeds and all that and your sharpness and all that sort of stuff you can also change the file format from jpeg to raw and jpeg so of course if you are looking to use 
uh, Photoshop or something like that alongside these sort of pictures that you're taking, then you can customize it a lot better if it's a raw file. Now, if you are shooting video on this and you change the resolution to 4K at 30 frames a second, unfortunately, it's not doesn't seem to be available on the 60 frames a second. But if you're 4K at 30, you can also use their electronic image stabilization. So, of course, I'm going to show you some footage in a bit of both the on and off and then with the gimbal. So you can see the three sort of variants of the performance using this camera in different scenarios. Now, one of the benefits of the 4K at 60 frames a second is, of course, the ability to produce some really great slow-mo shots. Now, the battery on this is 1400 milliamps, which doesn't seem massive when you compare it to say a smartphone, but then of course you've only got a tiny screen. I've noticed no problems really with the battery unless you've got the Wi-Fi. And if you've got the Wi-Fi and you're using the app on your smartphone and you're connecting the two, it does drain the battery quite quickly. So if you're out and about and you just want to take that raw footage, then it's absolutely fantastic. You can also buy uh, replacement batteries as well and you just simply slide them in and out from here. So you press and hold that, slide it across and your battery's in there. You pull it out and then of course, you know, replace it. Inside there as well, you put your SD card, your, your micro SD card. The waterproof case is IP68 rated and you can go to depths of 40 meters without any problems whatsoever. So again, that's a really handy thing to have with you if you are doing lots of outdoor activities. The sensor this action camera uses is a Sony 12 megapixel CMOS. One thing that this camera doesn't have, which is a bit of a shame, is a lens protector that comes in the box. I'm sure you can buy one uh, externally from a, a third party or something or even from the same company but just doesn't come in the box and I, and I think it kind of should really. Right so that's pretty much everything to do with the camera. We're now going to jump onto the gimbal. Now, the gimbal has three main buttons on the front. You've got your on off switch here, your mode select there and of course you've got your record take photo button there. So if you pair it Bluetooth to the action camera you can actually control the camera via the gimbal. <laughs> Again, you've got your connector there to screw it to a tripod or something like that. And you've got your charge port there, which is micro USB. And that's surprising because we've got the Type-C in the camera. But nevertheless, you're not really going to need necessarily the Type-C in the gimbal because you're not really going to be transferring anything, for example, from that gimbal across, whereas you are with the camera. So now, of course, we've attached it to the gimbal. You literally just slide it into this section here and then attach it using these two screws at the back, which just unscrew like this. Same at the bottom. And then again, this just slides out like that. And the great thing about a gimbal is that when you're actually taking videos and you want things to be really nice and smooth, no juttering, no sort of jarry footage, and you want it to be nice and smooth, nice and professional, that is where a gimbal comes in. You can then be out and about on the move. It moves this section. It doesn't move the camera, which is great. Now, as I mentioned, there are four different modes. And one of the great modes that I do like is, of course, that turning selfie motion. So if you actually double tap that M, as you can see, it swivels round. And then it's on you. So you can then, if you're doing vlogs, for example, again, you can sort of be walking around and the camera's nice and smooth, nice and professional, just from two clicks of that button. So I'll do it again, double click it, and it spins back around again. So that is probably one of the best things about it, especially if you are vlogging, for example. Are you listening? Damn. Right, so here we are on the front facing selfie camera. I've obviously switched it around so you can get an idea of kind of how it looks and the sort of sound quality we're looking at as well. And as you can see, I can just simply by double tapping that mode button, I can switch it around and then it goes back to the front facing camera. Yeah. And as you can see, the footage pretty much all round is very, very smooth. It looks very, very crisp. It is impressive to say the least. Of course, as well, 4K in 60 frames a second is much better for you guys who are doing YouTube videos, for example. There is a massive difference between 4K at 60 and 4K at 30. You can just see it instantaneously, straight away. So here we are once again shooting on 4K at 60 frames a second. And again, I'm going to just make a couple of alterations and I'm going to spin it round. And as you can see, we are onto the front facing camera now. So again, for vlogs and stuff, this is absolutely amazing to use this gimbal. Keeps it nice and still so you can talk to camera without that handheld jarriness. Makes it look much more professional. And of course, you can get all the wonderful scenery in with that wide angle lens. So uh, we're going to spin it back around and we're going to do some slow-mo shots. And I'm also going to show you that electronic stabilization as well that's inbuilt on this camera at 4K at 30 frames a second. So we're going to do that now. So I'm just going to spin you back around. See you later. 
This is again with the stabilization on and we're at 4k at 30 frames a second i've not got it on the gimbal though so it's probably going to be a little bit more jarring now i'm going to turn the stabilization off and you'll see it, it does get a lot worse so now we've actually got the stabilization taken off and as you can see really feeling my footsteps now so you can see the exact difference between what we just did so definitely gimbal works so much better than handheld and then if you are handheld, then 4K at 30 frames a second for me using that stabilization is probably better than 4K at 60 without the stabilization just because it, it just looks much more professional. But if you are using this for vlogging, I would recommend using a gimbal, not necessarily this one, although this one is great, but if you're gonna use a gimbal, it's gonna make it look far more professional. It's just gonna look far smoother when you're actually taking all of your videos. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this action camera and, of course, the gimbal to go with it. Is it something you would buy? All the links are in the video description below if you are interested in going through and purchasing one of these. It's not the cheapest on the market. There are hundreds of really cheap action cameras at this moment in time, but if you are one of these people who's looking for some serious quality in 2018 for your expeditions expeditions that's a bit some say actually the performance of these outweigh the gopro again that's personal preference let me know what you think whether you have one whether you have a gopro then again let me know below i'd love to hear your thoughts as always like and share if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful subscribe and hit that little notification bell next to it if you want to be notified every time i post a video and i'll see you in the next one say it's be peace out